Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna to talk about your RV or camper's propane system. Now a lot of us, when we go camping, the propane system can be one of the most intimidating systems on your camper, obviously because it is uh, very dangerous and if you have leaks, it could lead to other issues. Um, but today we're gonna to go over some of the safety features and how to use the propane on different devices in your camper. On your RV or camper, you're gonna have two different types of propane setup. Um, the first is what we have here, and it's gonna be removable tanks. Uh, these tanks are gonna look just like your standard barbecue pit tanks. You can take them out and take them to get them refilled when they run out um, or if you're getting low. And the other type is a non-removable, which are typically gonna be on motorhomes, uh, bigger, bigger motorhomes. They'll have an onboard propane tank that you will have to take the whole rig to get it refilled. To go through the components on your system, you're gonna have your main valve, which is gonna be on top of your propane tank. We'll move this tank out of your way. See the other components. And you're gonna have your regulator. Now what the regulator does is it takes the high pressure propane from the tank, goes through the regulator, and then turns it into low pressure propane, which then can go to your appliances. After your regulator, then comes your pigtail hose. Um, mine has a pigtail hose going to the other side, um, to the other tank that feeds into the system. And then you'll have your main line that runs into your RV's propane system um, to lead to all the appliances on the inside. So when you're ready to turn your propane on, uh, we always recommend having a gauge so that it tells you when your propane is getting low. Um, there's a lot of people that like using these so that they don't have to lift their propane out of their compartment to be able to tell how much gas they have. Um, it's really up to you. So what we do is we start with putting our gauge on first. You want to make sure your fitting is straight and thread it all the way on. Then we'll take our pigtail hose that goes to the rest of our system and connect it to our gauge. And if you didn't have a gauge, you just take this pigtail hose and connect it directly to uh, the valve on the bottle. And now all you have to do is just open up your bottle. You wanna open it up slowly um, because there is a ball in the top of this tank that if you open it too fast, it could clog itself. So you can see our tank's got about half left. So we'll turn that on and now we can go inside. Now that we've got our system hooked up and turned on, um, if you're camping in cooler climates, this is when you could turn on your furnace um, to get your camper warmed up. Your furnace should kick on automatically. It may take a little bit for the propane to get to the furnace, um, but it will ignite. If you have a pilot light on your furnace, this is when you would light that. If you're boondocking, you wanna turn your fridge on the propane option so it'll um, turn on and it'll run off your propane if you don't have any electricity. And then finally, your stove and oven combo. For your stove, again, you're gonna have to bleed the lines a little bit to get the air out to get the propane to your stove. Um, and the way you do that is you just turn your stove on and have a lighter right next to the stove and you'll see air coming out of it because the flame will flicker. And then finally, when the propane gets here, um, the burner will ignite. And after that, then all you have to do is light the pilot light in your oven. So you've been camping all weekend and you need to check your propane and possibly go refill it. Um, a gauge is, like we showed you earlier, is gonna be the easiest way to check the level in your tank. I do highly recommend one of those if you have two tanks. It's not a bad idea to get one for each um, if you have two tanks tied into one system. Um, if not, you can lift up on them to tell how much is left. Um, it does give the people that are refilling them a better idea of how much they're putting in. Places that you can get propane refilled. You can get them refilled at um, a lot of farm and home stores will refill them, RV dealerships and uh, farmers co-ops, a lot of them will refill them. If you have a tank that is part of a exchange program, you can take those to get them exchanged and then you get two new tanks and then you head back to the campsite. The only problem with that is that if you have half a tank, you're going to be exchanging a half a tank for a full tank. So that's just something to keep in mind. When you're all done with your trip, what I like to do is I like to shut off my gas and disconnect my propane bottle so that I know that I'm safe to head down the road. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you later.